Hey guys, Zeddy here, and today I am going to be testing out this right here. Bayesus? Basis? <laughs> Basis? <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Uh, it's a digital display PPS quick dual uh, dual quick charger, 100 watts of high power. That's crazy from a little thing like this. There it is. It's really that tiny. So, yeah. I didn't see too much about this. There's only a couple. There's a video or two about this. Uh, read the reviews. I was careful to make sure there wasn't any fake reviews. And a lot of people had some complaints about this. Which is the uh, display being too dim. Which uh, I guess I can see that. Right now I'm in my garage. so it's And I can see it. And it's not super bright, so I bet you I can't see it once I'm driving. Um, so what it does is it tells you, um, it cycles through, and I'm going to try to show you. That's the uh, input voltage. My car is on right now. 13.3 volts when it's on. It did show 12 and dropping when it was off. Yes, this is the output of the uh, USB-C port. Yes, you saw that right. It was 20 volts. And there's the wattage at 68.68.5 volts. There's USB-A, about 5 volts, just under, with a 0 watt being pulled. Because even though I have the cable plugged in, it's not plugged into anything yet. Uh, the reason why USB-C is at 20 volts. And, uh, what do you call, showing 68 or 60 something wattage. Is because I have it hooked up to my laptop. And it's currently at 60% battery life. So it's charging the batteries. I was making sure of that. And I have it at full power. Uh, high performance. So it's not uh, limiting due to... If it's going to throttle, it's going to be thermal. But right now it's nice and cool. Uh, this is my uh, System76. Uh, I also reviewed this uh, on my other videos. You guys saw it before. 11th gen i7 and this is the max power that it's going to pull because um, what do you call uh, 68 watts the power supply is a 65 watt charger so uh, this is the max that it's going it was designed to pull even though this thing is supposed to be able to do 100 watts I don't have anything that can pull 100 watts right now um, and it's been plugged in for like maybe five minutes and it's barely warm to the touch which I'm very surprised because it's very very small as you can see and I'm gonna pull it out a little bit later to show you my phone's about 50% charged I have this um, pixel 7 pro as you guys remember and I'm gonna plug it into the USB a right now see I have it right here and I'm recording video so you guys will see so there's the, sorry for the focus, that's the, so that's USB-A voltage, 5 volts, 6.1 watts, hmm, I know I can pull faster and harder than that too with the phone, so let's see, maybe I'll give it a little bit more, see if it uh, pulls any harder, 20 watts, I'm so surprised that this thing um, has an up voltage, um, circuitry it takes the 12 volts and um, up converts the voltage I'm not using the right terminology I know uh, this is on the fly Wow only five watts from here I'm wondering if it's the cable I know USB-C a uh, or USB a doesn't it's not gonna be able to pull as much power it has to be the right cable it has to you know all that good stuff it's all that communication supposedly they say when both are in use this will drop down to 65 watts or something like that and then this can pull up to 30 watts on the USB a side but I'm leaving it plugged in and I'm again my phone is um, plugged in again it's pulling the max though it's not dropping on the USB-C a side 
but if you look at the USB-A side, I'm only getting just 5.5 watts. Now it's getting a little bit warmer, but not so hot that it's going to burn me. So I am very interested to see what will happen if I leave it plugged in for longer. But anyways, I'm going to pull this out. First, I'm going to shut off the charging and just leave the mining. When I do that, uh, I also let me turn off uh, high power mode or performance mode. Uh, sorry, I'm not looking at the screen, so I may not be pointing at the right spot. Uh, I'm going to put it back to balance, which is normally where I have it. And I also shut off the charging. So let's see. See, it drops down to 40 watts. Let's see, it should drop down a little more. Normally, in this stage, again, uh, if the power meter on my, on the, um, that I have, I forgot what it's called. I'm always at a loss for words when I'm on, when I have a camera going. 20 watts or 20 volts power watt or watt meter or whatever it's called let's see it's 35 watts normally it tells me it is pulling around 30 something watts around this uh around this stage so um let's see if that is still the case when i have it direct dc i know i need to clean my car it's a mess Okay, I'm going to shut off my car now, and I'm just going to use accessory. See, now you see the voltage drop, and it's going to keep dropping. Obviously, it just finished, um, I just turned it off, so the battery at least still has a high charge. Again, 5 volts, that's the uh, USB-A that's connected to my phone. My phone is not pulling any more than 6 watts, apparently. That's interesting. Uh, 12 volts. See, it just dropped to 12 volts now. Still doing 20 volts on on um, on the USB C side at 35 watts. All right, I'm gonna pull the plug on this. Now let's see if USB C, the USB A, is now able to pull more power. No, it doesn't. Interesting. I thought that maybe the reason why it's giving lower powers because um come on google there you go i have to manually adjust this so you see zero watts on the usb c now this is the usb -C, usb a which is connected to my phone and nope it's not going anymore all right i'm gonna pull the plug Again, while I'm still recording, and I'm going to plug in the USB-C. Okay, I'm going to put down uh, my laptop. And I'm going to plug in the USB-C to the phone. There we go. Let's see what happens. It's now saying it's still pulling 5 volts from USB-C. So my phone doesn't pull anything more than 5 volts. Which is weird. I thought it can go... I thought it's supposed to do 9 volts. Nope, nope, there it is. 9 volts. It negotiated. But it's still at 6.67 watts. That's it? Oh, maybe because my phone is kind of warm right now because I have the camera going. I'm going to do more testing on this. But yeah, the reason why I bought this was because... Well, I have all these other chargers and they charge really slow. Which I don't mind. I actually like because like when I'm in a long drive, I don't really want to like kill my battery by charging too fast. Because it will make my phone hotter. So here's one that's no-name brand. That was... As you can see, it's very low 5 volts 2.1 amps that's it nothing special 
And then this one was my first USB-C uh, charger. It says 3 amps. I'm guessing only at 5 volts though. Yeah, it's faded. So it can only do up to like 15, uh, 15 watts. But it also didn't do as well as the other one. But now I'm thinking it's my phone. I thought I bought, I bought a, a charger that has all the bells and whistles. And what I mean by that is technically, meaning it has all the communication protocol. So it's supposed to have... Uh, oh, why am I blanking as I'm talking? I know this... I know this stuff off my head. Why am I blanking right now? PPD and all that stuff. Ugh, I'll bring it up when I get to that. But anyways, this one's supposed to have all of that. Uh, so that's a new standard that USB-C um, uses for charging. That's why you saw 20 volts. Um, that's a new standard. You can go up to 20 volts. Uh, 100 watts is... Again, It's a, that's the new standard. 20 watts at... Uh, 5 amps, that's 100 watts. Which, by the way, I'm still surprised it can do because this cable I'm using, by the way, is the one that came with the charger. So, because it came with the charger, it even has 100 watts stamped on it. Like, it's certified for 100 watts. And I'm thinking to myself, this is a really thin cable. C can it really handle 100 watts? Okay, that's USB-C, 9 volts. Yeah, it's not pulling anymore. I uh, originally saw, when I was just using it with my phone, it was able to pull 15 watts at 9 volts. Which is still kind of low, I'm surprised, because my phone is supposed to be able to pull... Uh, it's supposed to charge at 23 watts, I believe. Yeah, 23 watts, because there was a controversy about that, because... Google made a big deal about um, selling a 30 watt charger when they sold this phone. So people thought that, oh, the Pixel 7 Pro and the Pixel 7 when it came out. Uh, same, actually, it was the Pixel 6 set when it came out. Oh, it can charge it up to 30 watts. And people were, were still complaining. Of course, reviews were saying that's still not that fast compared to other phones with their 60 something watts and 90 watts and all that stuff. But this is only a, a single cell. It's not dual cell or multi-cell. So with multi-cell, you can charge them in parallel. That's why they can pull power. Um, but 30 watts is not too bad. But the controversy was that they found out that it was actually only 23 watts. <laughs> and so not really sure why they, they, they sold a 30-watt charger for a 23-watt. Their previous charger was a uh, was a 18, 18 watts. But again, I'm surprised because right now, according to this thing, I'm not pulling anything, anything higher than five or six watts. So, and before I was getting only 15 watts. So I'm not really sure what's going on here. But anyways, I'm going to pull the plugs on everything. Okay, just to show you the actual charger itself. All right, so nothing special here. I didn't do an unboxing because it's this is just kind of a boring thing. I was going to throw away the box anyways, but I figure I should keep it just for a little longer in case I need to return it. And even me feeling it right now, it's just barely warm to the touch. So those are the specs, if you guys can read it. I don't know if you can with this bad lighting. Let me just see if I can turn on my lights. Is it going to make it worse? Of course it does, because it was reflective. Gee, thanks. Um, I will put it in the description. The the, the what do you call it? The specs. But it has a huge range. That's why I bought it, and it did have a lot of good reviews. And there was one or two YouTubers. Maybe I'll link it in the description too. That actually tested this in depth. And so I took a chance on it. It was like $30 on eBay, or not eBay, uh, Amazon. And there was a 25% sale or something like that. Or, um, but I got it for less than that. I think it was like 25 or something like that. Uh, with shipping and everything and tax. So that's not too bad. And uh, this is how it looks. 
again, it's not that big. It's not that big at all for something that's supposed to do 100 watts. It's not, I mean, these other ones are, you know, small too, but they're not as, you know, they're really tiny, but they don't have the, you know, power output as something like this. I am so surprised. It's Again, I don't know if it's going to overheat over time because this is just a short test. But um, I'll link this into in my description too in case you guys are interested. All right. I got to go, guys. I'm actually out going out to get some dinner and some shopping done. So, all right. Bye.